All right, I'm working on a request for my son. This is his computer panel, and I can't show you a whole lot, but it's super cool. You're gonna have to watch. All right, I wanna talk about this project I'm working on. This is my son's computer, and he's requested that I do a skeleton dragon. And he liked this illustration. So I'm not gonna do a direct copy. I'm gonna kind of do an influence of. And I did a resin pour on this to kind of give it that glow background and I'm gonna paint over it so I'm gonna let the glow show a little bit through it. Now, I will recommend this <laughs> and it clapped me is if you're doing a panel that's specifically towards something that has to fit into something, make sure you do a definite label as far as top and bottom or something like that. Like I put a top on there, I poured it, and apparently I didn't look at my own sign. So basically what I have to do is I have to rework it in this format here. So I've got to erase all of this up. I've done this with a chalk marker. So that won't be a problem. And reconfigure it out so like maybe he's flying this way, but his head and his eye is up here. So that's okay. Um, and it'll work out fine. But this was really critical because apparently there's some mounting holes. Well, not on this side, but it's on the other side that are critical for sliding the panel in and locking it into place. So that's something I've done. I can't tell you how long it's been um, to make sure if it's something that's very specific to fitting into place, uh, put some kind of big note that uh, indicates top and bottom, um, and that way it's real clear for you. And um, double check it before you get to the point of where it's permanently, the design is permanently in place. So I had done the drawing, it's not permanent. The resin stuff is permanent, but I knew it was going to be fluid and do its own thing anyway, and I would have to do some manipulation with it or work with what it, what I had. Um, but as soon as I start with the painting part, the painting part is the next step that would be permanent. So I wanted to do a double check, and that's where I caught my mistake. So passing on some hints and tips so that you guys can learn. So on to redrawing, wiping this down, redraw it, and get set up so I can start doing my base color and, and start to paint this guy. So, looking forward to it, a little nervous, but here we go. Oh, and also, I wanna have it so it's inspired by this piece. I'm not gonna do a direct copy, so at some point I'm gonna reference it as far as maybe how it's the skeleton part of the dragon is, is looking and maybe some of the uh, appearance of it, but at some point I'm gonna stop and it's gonna become my own piece and I'm gonna stop looking at the reference. So just give you another way of, you know, working with a piece that is inspired by, but not directly a copy of, because I don't want to copy another artist's work. So, all right, on to the next part. Okay, now I have a new plan. So instead we've got the dragon coming in from above down. So his uh, back will twist a little bit, come down and he's, doing like a downward attack and a little bit of wing here not a whole lot of one but I think that this will work pretty well and most of this blue is going to get covered up by the paint so we're going to have cracks where the blues showing through which hopefully will give a glow effect so on with the painting and pretty much the rest of this is going to be time lapse uh, until I get to the resin point at the end so see y'all in a bit
The thought that I wrote, all of the words that we spoke, yet yeah, only with our eyes. Now is the time to choose, somebody wins and some lose, I can see through your disguise. Lay it down, hope for something better, looking at the clouds, the sun.
Never taking whatever you told me. I know what I could be. Making the most of things I've been inside. Tell me, is this what you made me?
So I think this is a good place to stop. He's kind of a little bit of a creepy dragon, but he looks like a whole lot of fun. So remember, uh, we're gonna try and maintain this glow from inside coming out. So that's why there's uh, highlights of blues in here to kind of bring out those uh, blues that are inside and keeping this area in here nice and light. So very science, science fiction-y kind of, or I should say fantasy type of creature in here. And I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add, I think I'm gonna add a little, yeah, hang on. Okay, I had just a little bit in the eye there. I'm gonna also work around in the resin trying to create some wispies coming out of the eyes and nostril and the mouth area and this part here, the broken skin and stuff. So that's why I'm not doing a whole lot of work in that eye. Well, I'm gonna let this dry overnight really, really good. So that way I can start working in this area a little bit more because um, it's, there's a lot of wet in this area, and I don't want to mess this up right now. So I kind of like this right now. Anyway, I will see you guys the next day. So I'm going to break this up into sections. So here is part one. Enjoy. But hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. But definitely hit the bell so you can get notified next time I put the next part of this dragon up. Later, y'all.